we put radio collars for our study on 32 coyotes. Seven of them were hit by cars. Boom, just like that. Okay, so that gives you a sense of mortality and vehicle collisions. So this one is uh, Jefferson County Open Space Park. It's Crown Hill Park. How many are familiar with Crown Hill Park? It's the female. You can see she lives at Crown Hill. What is Crown Hill surrounded by? Basically urban, suburban habitat. So the blue dots are nighttime. The red dots are daytime. This is the footprint of the park. Where is she spending most of her time? in the park. She goes to the cemetery during the day. So she's over here in the cemetery hanging out during the day. And at night, she is going across 32nd Avenue and there's a canal that moves along behind the high school. Is everybody familiar with that area? She's using that canal. She's going over. There's a few daytime dots over here, but for the most part at night, if she's crossing 32nd, it's at night. And again, that's because over here, this is scary. There's vehicles, there's people, there's dogs, there's activity. So she's going to do that at night. Cemetery, not so scary during the day. You can go over there and hang out. It's just dead people. So <laughs> that's all right. So this coyote, there's a couple different lifestyles for coyote. There's resident coyotes and there's transient coyotes. This is a resident coyote. So you can see she has a pretty tidy little footprint. She's hanging out here. This is her home. This of our 32 coyotes, she had the smallest home range. It was just a little bit over two miles for her her home activity area. So it's a very tight situation. Again, that's because her patch of habitat, that's it. It's Crown Hill and that's it, okay? So a completely different coyote. This is considered a transient coyote and you can see that, that she had some data points all the way down here in Douglas County and then went all the way up beyond Morrison Road and all the way out over um, Coal Mine Road and I think this is Sheridan. So, so she had this enormous range. She was killed by a vehicle on C-470. She's considered a transient. So a transient coyote does not have a territory. And basically, she's looking for a territory, OK? So she's out and about, and either she's too young to have a mate, or maybe she lost her mate to a car crash or something. And so she is out just sort of roaming around and taking advantage of. You can see she used the C-470 corridor quite a bit. She used Chatfield State Park. She used South Platte Park. So she had kind of this, this idea of moving from patch to patch. Yeah, and that's a transient lifestyle right there. So again, compared to our Crown Hill buddy who stayed put, she's a resident coyote. This is our transient coyote, and she died basically on the C-470 corridor. So our champion coyote, though, for moving around was our, we called him the airport coyote, all right? And this coyote ended up losing its life eventually at an airport. From the Rocky Mountain Airport, it went over here, and then it went over to DIA, and basically had a 364 square mile activity area before it was shot at DIA by a sharpshooter, okay? And why does DIA shoot coyotes? Very dangerous for planes. So um, airports are where wildlife is removed. Airports are attractive to wildlife because they are vast tracts of land without development. 